Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazayas here from The Automator, and uh, we have something a little fun today. We're going to start off a little differently. we got a quiz for you, right? So don't look <laughs> at my screen. And what Surprise we're doing is, here are a list of commands, and my question to you is, and I want you to pause and give it some thought, what right. do these things have in common? What is, I, so I went through and I, I cherry-picked these for a certain reason. What? Tell us what you think it is. So um, before we go forward, there's just so pause the video, write in, and then we'll pick it up here in a second. Okay, we're back. So, okay, let me go back to sharing here real quick. So what what did you guys say? What Did, did you get it right? And Isaiah, we, actually, I had to talk to Isaiah about, because I did the same thing to him of just a one-off of like, what, you know, what is and, it? Why did I pick these? And I, and I was close, even though I was not exactly right. I was close on something, but it, to give a little bit of context, and you can try again after the context is, we do have something in Auto Hotkey that might be a little bit confusing sometimes. And it is that there's a lot of commands that deal with stuff in milliseconds, right? So sleep 10 is 10 milliseconds. Um, we do have uh, other things that AT count is in milliseconds. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of commands out there that whenever you pass a value, it has to be in milliseconds. And a lot of things actually return stuff in milliseconds or wait milliseconds. But some commands happen to be working in seconds. And we actually really didn't know exactly why. We, and Joe, you were saying this is so weird that some things, you, you know, you, you, oh, the, the, the directives, it was directives that we were talking right. about. Like there were some directives that you have to specify in milliseconds, some stuff. And there was one directive that when you put it there, I was like, wait, isn't that in seconds? And I still didn't know why my intuition told me that. But after you yeah. gave me this list, now it's clear to me. Now, <laughs> to answer the question, you can answer the question of why these guys are picked. Why did you pick them, Joe? <laughs> well, I think we already kind of tipped our hand there. Is that the, yeah, the, they're in the, when you put in the time, it's in seconds, not milliseconds. Right. At this point, all of them, actually, all of these guys, if right. you're doing a win weight, there is a command, a, a parameter there that is in seconds. Now, the interesting thing, and that's what I was actually kind of like, getting into when I was thinking about this is that all of them have a timeout period and the timeout period in auto hotkey is usually in seconds. So if you say when closed, there's a timeout parameter and that parameter is in seconds. The same with message boxes. Whenever you show a message box, you have a parameter down there that has timeout. And all parameters that are timeout, like for example, clip weight has a timeout period, then this timeout is in seconds, which is counterintuitive to the fact that everything else is in milliseconds. Because actually, computers are really fast. You usually don't. You don't need to wait. That, you know that long for it to happen. And Isaiah saying computers really fast is such an understatement, <laughs> right? Because yeah. we don't. We just don't really, really grasp what I remember. You're gonna laugh at this. I remember ten years ago watching your videos. What was it? Wins not win spy. What was no the no the, the 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 messages the the, the yeah, yeah the right. win message and the crazy crap that was going on so fast and your computer's not even doing anything on that one window right? Imagine all the other crap it's doing like yeah. it's insane how fast computers are. It really when is. you when you when you take a look at how microprocessors work and the fact that you have like thirty two bit and sixty four bit in one one cycle what one cycle of that thing the so math operations. yeah yeah so <laughs> there's a lot of math operations that it could do in one cycle and the funny thing is that in one second a processor can do thousands of uh cycles so it is crazy fast you don't even know it so having a timeout in seconds is kind of weird <laughs> when computers are so fast right? right and to me it it's what in I'm sure there's a good, like, I, I would never think like, well, for a message box, I want it to time out in 300 seven, milliseconds. Seven, right, exactly. <laughs> I don't think 300 milliseconds, right. But at the same time, what I think maybe the people that made this decision up in, initially, they thought, well, I would never use that. So let's just make it seconds. Then I don't have to do it times the thousand or times 60 times a thousand right. or whatever, right? But then it becomes inconsistent. And now I That's have to problem. mentally remember right. that, like, now I need to think of this in seconds, that not, I would much, much rather 
have it all be milliseconds personally and and then just have to do some math don't deal with it right exactly so you don't have to think about it but the thing is um at the moment and and i think it's the same in any auto hotkey version doesn't matter which one you pick anything that is a timeout is in seconds so keep that in mind right now the other thing is that then we went into a the directive it was the max timeout for whatever it was yeah, yeah. right and then th let me let me just bring that real quick because yeah. the and that's what threw me so what happened was in my mind and actually as as an intuition because i didn't have it really clear in my mind actually it cleared up when i was talking to you is that for me already in my intuition my mind was saying anything that is a timeout is in seconds right, right. and then i have this little guy that is a, a, a directive that said timeout but it's in milliseconds and you said when, when when i was when i saw that and you said oh let's let me put 200 in here and i say hey wait isn't that in seconds and you said no it has never been and when i came back and saw it i was like it's true yeah. it's actually milliseconds but why why did i think that it was in seconds and that was when i then we realized anything that is a timeout as a command usually is in right. seconds so right. i was kind of like confused when i saw a directive that is actually a timeout in milliseconds i was like okay what <laughs> there you go so hopefully this might help you know and now that i understand and grasp to your point, when I'm thinking about a timeout, okay, it's in seconds. Now I have a simple way to remember whether it's seconds or milliseconds. So that is right. Hopefully this has helped clear this up for you. Um, please like the video if it if it has clarified your, your thinking. Um, let us know also if you have an experience in other languages in you know Python right. or Ruby or something, and see if they do something different or if I, I know milliseconds is a very common. That's what I was, was going to say. Is there any language that uses seconds yeah. in their time frames? I'm, I'm, in my experience, I haven't seen that. So let's see what other people say about that. Cool. So thanks, everyone. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Cheers. Oh, and, and don't forget, we are the, the largest auto hockey channel out there. We're creating videos twice a week. So subscribe so you don't miss out.